Let's do some dynamic subtraction with the stamp game. Remember, dynamic means exchanging from one category to the next. Just like with static subtraction, I have my ruler, my pencil, my four grid paper, and a half of a post-it note. This is just one post-it that I cut in half. If you don't have post-its, you could just use a small piece of paper. That's where we'll write our subtrahend, right? So I'm going to write a number on my paper. Let's see, you can write it too. How many thousands? That's right, three. How many hundreds? Yep, three again. How many tens? Just one. And how many units? That's right, four. Pause here to build your number and then we'll go on to the next step. All right, I built my, my menu end, did you? I hope so, let's check together. We needed four units, one, two, three, four. One ten, yep. Three hundreds, one, two, three, uh-huh and three thousands, one, two, three. I'm going to write my subtrahend, the number that I'm taking away, on my half post-it note. Let's see, I want to take away 2,133. So again, 2,133. Can you write that? on your small piece of paper? Let's write it underneath our menu end as well. 2,133 or three tens and three units. I'll put this to the side and my ruler as well. I don't need it right now. So I am going to build this number under the green piece of paper. I'll start with the units. I wonder if it looks green or yellow to you. It's hard for me to tell. So I need to take away three units. One, two, three. Okay, now I need to take away three. Uh-oh, I don't have three tens. Hmm, how could I get more tens? You're right. 100 equals 10 tens, doesn't it? I'm going to exchange this 100 for 10 tens. You can do that too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'll put this hundred back because I'm exchanging. Ten tens equal one hundred. So I'll put that one back. I think I need to scoot this over a little bit so that I have room, don't I? I need to have room to build my um, tens. Here we go. I'm building my tens. So many tens. I think I'll have enough to take away three now, huh? You can be building your tens at this same time, right? Okay, so I have all of those tens and I need to take away three. You can take away three too and build them right over here under this three. Oh, I'll use my ruler to straighten this. That's when the ruler comes in handy, huh? Okay, how many hundreds do I need to take away? That's right, 100. And I need to take away, that's right, two thousands. Did you take away two thousands too? So we took away 2,103 tens and three units. We don't have 3,301, 10, and four units left anymore, do we? Let's see what we have left. How many units do we have left? That's right, one. And how many tens do we have left? Let's count. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight tens. How many hundreds? That's right, one hundred. And how many thousands? One thousand, that's right. Do you remember we can make the equals bar right under the subtrahend and above the difference? And then we can make our minus sign. It says subtraction. It's a straight line going across there. There we are. Can you read the problem back? That's right, we had 3,000, 300, 110, and four units minus 2,100, three tens, and three units. And the difference was 1,100, eight tens, and one unit. That's called dynamic subtraction. And now that you know how to exchange with subtraction, you can write your own problems anytime you'd like. Let's clear this work and I will write you one more problem to get started on so that you can practice doing dynamic subtraction on your own. Did you clear all of your stamps? You're fast at that. I'll move this out of the way. I'll make my squiggly line to make space so I don't get confused about that problem. And I'll write you a new problem. Five thousands, six hundreds, four tens, and seven units minus 2,000, eight hundred, three tens, and two units. So again, you're going to build 5,600, four tens, and seven units, and then underneath your half post-it, you can take away from the menu end and build the subtrahend, which is two thousand eight hundreds, three tens, and two units. You can pause right here if you need to to build your numbers, and you can work on dynamic subtraction on your own. See you next time.